Hi Jatna, how are you doing? Hi Rupa, um, I'm feeling a little stressed and overwhelmed. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about why you're feeling stressed? Mm -hmm. um, it's just, you know, graduation's approaching and I'm mm -hmm. just hearing classmates talk about graduation and it's just I'm feeling super stressed because okay. around the corner and finding a job, is, is, there's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it sounds like you're feeling pressure. It sounds mm -hmm. like there's a lot of talk going on around you about graduation and you feel like it's coming up. Yeah. You're feeling some stress around that. Yeah, I feel okay. very anxious and you know, stress that leads up to me like ruminating and um, like losing sleep and stay okay. up late. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so it's leading you to ruminate, stay up late, and, and that sounds like that's difficult for you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, what would you um, what would you like to focus on changing today? Is there something that you'd want to maybe mm -hmm. change about yeah. what's um, happening for you? Uh -huh. Like improve on my anxiety. Like, okay. You know, try to fix that, and so I won't stay up late. And, okay. And lose sleep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, that sounds good. So we can talk about your anxiety. Um, so I, I want to introduce this idea. It's called, um, it's a DBT concept. It's called the behavioral analysis. Mm -hmm. And basically, um, it's basically what you just said, which is, you know, if you can, um, you know, maybe change some things so that you don't end up losing sleep, that might be helpful for you. So, um, so what we can do is we can kind of start from um, like the very beginning, kind of what triggers. Um, mm -hmm you know, you to feel anxious and then, and then, you know, it ends up losing sleep and then you end up losing sleep and then see what we can change. Okay. 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 So what I want you to do is I want you to write down kind of what you feel like is the beginning of this process for you. Okay. So, um, hearing people talk about graduation. Okay. Okay. And what happens next? Um, I begin to like ruminate uh, about graduation and finding a job. Okay. You can write that next. Okay. okay. And then what happens next? Um, I begin to feel stressed and then I feel anxious okay. as well. Okay, so you feel anxious and stressed, okay. Okay, um, and then what happens next? And then I just stay up late okay. and I will sleep. Okay. Okay, great. All right, so let's go from this first part. So you hear people talk about graduation. Do you feel like that's something that you can change, or that we can change? Not really, because okay. I cannot really control what people say. Right, okay. That's really, that's a good point. So we, you can't control what people say. Okay, mm -hmm. so that, so let's move on to the next one. So mm -hmm. you start ruminating about graduating and finding a job. Do you mm -hmm. feel like that's something that you can change? I have thought about that what I could do. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I ask other students like what are they doing um, in terms of like preparing for graduation and finding a job. Okay. Um, and then when they do offer you know advice mm -hmm. and help, I start I begin to even feel more anxious okay. and stressed because I feel okay. like I need to like research and mm -hmm. And get on to that. So it's still at least up to me losing sleep. Okay. That's really um that's really excellent. You've really sounds like you've really thought about it yourself, and you okay. So you've realized that um, that that's difficult to change mm -hmm. to stop ruminating. Okay, um, and it still leads you to go through this process. So okay, let's move to the next one then, mm -hmm. where you feel anxious and stressed. Do you feel like you can change that feeling anxious um, and stressed? Definitely. Okay. I, I could do something about that. Okay, and um, what have you have you done? Anything um, in order to feel less anxious and stressed before? Usually, I just do like a brief exercise, just okay. focus on my brain. But okay. I wanted to ask you, what other techniques can you um, offer on me so I could like it will help me when I'm feeling stressed? Okay. Well, that's really um, great that you've used some breathing exercises. Um, I, I I would be happy to share a technique with you. Okay. Um, 
that um, you know I found to be helpful and clients have found to be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, it's called 333. Have you heard of that before? Okay, so let's practice it right now. Um, okay. So what I want you to do is just you know silently to yourself, I want you to just um, identify three different things in the room. Okay, now I want you to touch three different things around you. Okay. And now I want you to hear three distinct sounds. Got it? Okay. And what was that like for you? How do you feel right now? Um, a little bit calmer. Just okay. Just because I wasn't thinking about what I'm feeling stressed about. Like okay. Like graduation or finding a job. Okay. Great. Um, do you think this could be helpful for you to use this? Yes. Okay. Um, and I, I want to let you know, so this, this is basically, you know, we we're talking about DBT, so this is a way for you to self-soothe. It's, you know, when you can kind of tap into your senses. So you basically tapped into three different senses, mm -hmm. right? You tapped into touch, you tapped into sight, and you tapped into um, hearing. So, um, so, you know, that's great. You just basically self-soothed yourself and you made yourself not um, feel anxious and stressed. So that's, that's great. I um, mean, do you feel like that could help you, um, that could help you from staying up late and mm -hmm. losing sleep because you're researching? Yeah, I also think maybe combining that with setting some specific time, mm -hmm. maybe like two hours mm -hmm. um, at the end of the week when I'm not feeling overwhelmed with mm -hmm. school or work, and just focusing on finding a job or graduation requirements. Okay. That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea, and you think that could work for you? Yes. Okay. So, okay. That would be great. Yeah, go ahead okay. and write that. Um, Yep. Yep. Hi. And then. Okay. Great. And then why don't you write that right here? What you said about researching, setting just, aside a time. Okay. So I can move this here. Instead. Yeah, just maybe as a solution for your... Oh, you put it down there? Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds really good. Okay. So, um, so do you think that maybe during the next week you can practice some breathing exercises, you can practice 3 through 3 and then you can kind of set up some time for yourself um, when you're going to be researching organizations, and then you can come back. It was good meeting with you, Jenna. Thank you. Okay.